Hello, this is Vettel121, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XII International. And in this episode, we're going to be exploring the Giza Plains when it's really wet outside. So yeah, it, you should recognize this place from before. It's the same exact area, it's just a lot more wet now. So yeah, I kind of like how they have this location here. There's like a dry season and a swampy season. So yeah, I like the way they did that in this game. That's pretty cool. I like that. Gives the world a little bit more life as opposed to, you know, other RPGs. And you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely want to go this way because we should make it to an outpost that uh... that has our petitioners cause yeah we're gonna be doing some hunts in this episode I believe so there you go and the enemies in this area should be yeah they, they should pose absolutely no threat whatsoever Sadine huh? Crocodile? sure why not Creature near a bridge. See, I like this guy. He was concise and to the point. Alright, and in this chest we get the re regen spell. So yeah, that'll be useful later on once I actually get some more uh, white magic for Ash. <coughs> but yeah, that, that won't be until we uh, unlock some more espers. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. And where are we going now? Bridge. He said something about a bridge. Is it this bridge? Oh. Here, I was thinking it was going to be our mark. Ah, no, that's not the crocodile. Alright, I need to check on something real quick here, so I'll be right back. Okay. Alright, I have a good idea where the crocodile might be, so let's, uh, let's go there. Let's go there, man. Oh, come on, man. Leave the poor wolf alone. Oh, yeah, that's right, I forgot Lars was in my party. Huh, <laughs> almost forgot he was there. I've been one-shotting everything in this area, I didn't even see him hanging around. And that fish just comes up to say hi, I guess. Okay, we get a bio moat. Might actually use those. Eventually. Gold needle. And we have a woolly gator, and why not? Let's kill him. Goodbye, Mr. Wooly Gator. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of a bastard thing to do there, going up behind that pork uh, alligator and just uh, one-shotting him in the back. But yeah, you know, whatever. I was interested. In, I was interested in his loot. I don't know if he drops anything good, but whatever. Crocodile should be in this area somewhere. Somewhere by a bridge. I wonder if it's this bridge. I know I'm kind of like skipping chests or whatever, but I don't think they're anything too useful, anyways. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure where that takes us. I think that it might actually take us to the uh, Delmesca Wester Sand, I believe. I think. Whoa. 
Alright, we have our crocodile here, and as you can see, he's got some friggin' buffs, so I'm gonna unbuff his buffs. And the drain spell is eating this thing alive. And, oh, Crocodile's level do doubled, huh? Well, I guess it didn't matter because we killed him. <laughs> yeah. Alright, easy enough. I'll go ahead and meet you back at that petitioner then. Alright, let's talk to our petitioner friend, dude, whatever his name is. We beat your crocodile. Yes, we beat it. And we get 1200 gil, a serpent rod, and one teleport stone. Yay. Huh? Take it where? Okay then. You know, I just found out something that was really awesome. Lars Larsa has the bubble spell, which doubles maximum HP. So, uh, yeah, that's gonna come in handy. In fact, I'm actually gonna try and do some side quests I normally wouldn't do until, well, I was stronger or at a higher level or whatever, because, yeah, I can actually set his gambits to, uh, use the bubble spell on my characters. And this is the earliest I've ever remembered having the bubble spell, so, uh, yeah. I'm gonna take advantage of that. Absolutely. Yeah, okay, this guy's talking about the gill snapper. Basically, it's a big turtle. And these guys are just gonna sit here and talk. Yes, blah, blah, blah. If I'm going too fast for the dialogue, just pause the video, I guess. I don't care to read all this crap. Okay, we get the silent urn. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to do, but whatever, man. Actually, I might I might have to use the silent urn on Oh, I might have to use the silent urn to kill it or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Hunt begins for the gill snapper and in order to get to the uh, the area with the gill snapper, we need to do some su some side stuff. Alright, here's a random withered tree here in the Giza Plains, and there are six of these. So basically all you need to do to get to the path where the gill turtle is, or the gill snapper, is to find six trees like this. And yeah, the trees will float down the river, and it will make a bridge to the gill turtle. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off screen, and be right back. Alright, after knocking down all those tree branches, this is the location on the map where the bridge actually shows up. And, uh, yeah, let's go across the bridge now. And the gill snapper should be in this area somewhere. And this guy named Bansit here, what, thinks he wants to help us. This gill snapper will be easy prey with Bansit at your side. Clan Centurio's finest. Uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah. But anyways, to get this guy to show up, basically have to zone in and out of the area, and hopefully he appears, uh, during certain weather conditions here. Okay. Yeah, it might be kind of a pain in the ass to get him to show up, because we gotta... Okay. Yeah, we gotta zone in and out. Might have to edit some of this out. Alright, Bansett says, There it is, now stand back and let Clan Centurio's finest show you how it's done! Uh, yeah, whatever, dude. Alright, and over here is our mark. This is the Gill Snapper. This guy... Uh, uh, absorbs ice, is weak to lightning, uh, and he pretty much halves all the other elements, and also, as you can see, he's, he has uh, buffs on him, so, naturally, I want to dispel them. 
And I'm gonna go ahead and dispel all this guy's buffs. And uh, yeah, I want Pinello to cast Silence on this guy if I can here. Okay, well now that we have Silence on this guy, I'm gonna go ahead and use Fran here and summon a Dremelec. Yeah, Drumlick is lightning elemental and should be able to deal very good damage to this guy. Also, this guy can put blind and disable on your character, so it's a good idea to use an Esper for this fight because Espers are immune to status ailments. And yeah, I have a uh, cure less than 60% on Fran that way, or. HP less than 60% Kiro with Fran, so if a Dromalex HP does get too low, uh, she can heal him, obviously. Yeah, I want to keep my distance with Fran because I don't want uh, the Guilt Snapper to attack Fran, because that could be bad. But as you can see, this guy deals a ton of damage with that Flash Arc ability. Yeah, over 5,000 damage. That's freaking awesome. And yeah, we're doing really good against this guy right now. Yeah, he should be dead pretty soon here. Yeah, you want to get silence on a on a the kill snapper because because a drama like is weak to ice. Okay. He's pretty close to dying, so might as well finish this guy off with some style and use Judgment Bolt on him. You can steal random gill amounts from this guy, but it's not anything that's really that great, so don't bother trying to steal from this guy if you unless you're really really desperate for gill. But there you go, that is the gill snapper. Really, really, really easy mark. If you use the Adromalic Esper, so yeah, there you go. And that's how it's done. Well, the hunt's over, so I'll be seeing you back at the clan hall. Take care of yourself now. Yeah, okay. You weren't really that big of a help there, dude. Alrighty then, we are back in the clan hall, and how fares the hunt? You're a brave companion already? Yes, we are. We get two high ethers. Hey, a couple teleport stones, can't complain. And he has no marks for us. Let's see if the bazaar sells anything. Alrighty then, the bazaar does sell something. We can buy a cat ear hood here, and I'm actually going to pick up two of these right now absolutely yeah good stuff absolutely now how the cat ear hood works is uh, yeah when you equip it it'll have uh, ice and wind damage however it will I, I forgot the, f the exact formula but it, it basically takes a, the license point you have and times it it's like the level divided by five and then basically every time you kill enemies uh, instead of gaining license points you will gain gill so if you you have this equipped on characters that are not currently in your party uh, that you don't care to gain license points for uh, you can use this accessory to get gill instead of having to sell loot because selling loot is bad in my opinion because a lot of times you're gonna need certain loots for some bizarre recipes like some you know some good uh, weapons and armor and stuff you can get here at the bazaar so Using the cat ear hoods are a good alternative, a great alternative, as opposed to uh, actually farming for frickin' uh, loot. Instead of selling loot, you can use the cat ear hood to get gill that way. So there you go. And that is all for this episode of Final Fantasy XII. In the next episode, we will head back to the Jahara Village, and we will get another mark. This is Vital121. See you next time.